we have a whole new frontier of media right now. The Kelsey brothers are proving that. He should have a podcast? With Nick Saban. Who's not listening to the Belichick Saban podcast? That's, it's, it's whatever topics you want. Do they need a host? It is highly editable. Do they need a host? They need a host. I could do that. Of course you could do that. I would be a very good host. You would that. do a fabulous job with that. Saban likes me. I don't know if Bill likes me. Do your, do, do their Bill and I, our relationship has always been okay. That doesn't really matter. What matters is do their agents like your agent? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know who represents Bill. Saban's does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Saban's in the right place. Great. I don't know who represents Bill. I don't either. But whoever represents Bill didn't do a very good job this season. That would be a very good. Oh, that'd be amazing. Oh, it'd be amazing. That podcast. The best podcast. It would be good. It would make so much money. They would enjoy it because they don't have to listen to, they have to do like the whole you go, I go around the table thing, asking about which quarterback is on the hot seat, which coach is on the hot seat. And that's what Bill and Nick want to do. They don't want to sit there and play the media game. They want to play their own game. The Bill and, what, 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 what are we naming the podcast? What are we naming the podcast? Something Bill about, something about tank, can, like cantankerous old guys. You know, like J.J. Reddick has like old man in a three, like something, yeah. what could be a clever... Grumpy old po- men. <laughs> Grumpy old men is Grumpy old goats. It's already been Grumpy taken. Grumpy old goats. Grumpy old goats. Something with goats. Two goats and a greenie. Well, I don't, I don't think, I don't think greenies in the name. Yeah. In, the, in, the, in the title. I like grumpy old goats. I do like that. Grumpy old goats is not football or sports. And, it's specific and I don't enough. think they would want that. Like, I don't think they perceive themselves to be grumpy or old. I, I, speaking, as one, speaking as one who at times is made to feel old. I, no, I, don't, I would never name my own podcast the old guy talking about sports. Okay. Grumpy goats. Grumpy goats. That's what Cam likes. Coaching and they, and they need a host. Coaching one hundred and one. Thirteen rings. What's it? What's it called? Thirteen rings. Thirteen rings. Ring it chasing has a nice ring to it. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not bad. I'm sure they have some kind of like team motto that we don't know about, or we could ask one of their former players. This is a very good idea. Hey, Bubba, get CAA on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Young, I'm calling <laughs> right after the show is over. Vino, I got an idea. <laughs> if you know, you know. It's going to make you a lot of money. Oh, I am I'm so in on this. Cliff Kingsbury was an offensive coach, the quarterback's coach, for Caleb Williams at USC this past year. Caleb Williams went to Gonzaga High School in Washington, D.C. He is a native son of that city. This is a, a time of rebirth in Washington. That city, that fan base, that franchise, and everyone associated with it has been dying, begging, and pleading to get out from under the stench of Dan Snyder for whatever it's been, two decades or whatever it is. It's finally come. And the the way to begin it with a bang is to attract Caleb Williams, the first generational prospect of the NIL era, which means he has unprecedented control over where he goes. I will remind you, that the two quarterbacks who are famous for forcing their way out of a situation in the draft were John Elway, who was able to actually threaten to go play baseball, and Eli Manning. And it's still not quite clear to me what leverage Eli and Archie used to get him out of San Diego and to the Giants, but clearly it worked. Maybe it was just the marquee level of his name, of the family name. Whatever the case may be, we all know what happened. In the case of Caleb Williams... He's a person who makes millions and millions of dollars. You can't watch a football game during the season and not see a commercial with him in it. He's in the Heisman House commercials. There has to be a ton of money in that. He's in the Dr. Pepper commercials. There has to be a ton of money in that. So he's okay if he doesn't go to the NFL immediately. He's okay if things don't work out fast. You have to play the long game. And if he decides, and this is a big if, If he decides that the long game he wants to play is back home for him in Washington, then the Cliff Kingsbury hiring feels like it makes a lot of sense in that regard as well. How is this possible? How could this possibly happen? What could be more? What, when you were making the original plans, like whenever it was they decided that Vegas was hosting this Super Bowl years ago, one of the first things you think about is, where are the teams going to practice? What are we going to do about the fields? How could this sod have just been laid a week ago and the field be well below NFL standards? It is impossible for me to believe. What do we say? What am I supposed to say about this? I, I don't know, because uh, we have the technology to, ha- uh, to, to suspend a, a pregnant woman 60 feet in the air 
during the Super Bowl halftime show last year. Right. And meanwhile, <laughs> the 49ers are practicing in a swamp. I don't know how it's possible either. Like if we're gonna if we're gonna decide like this is a big deal to us, like this should be one of the first things that you prioritize, no? I, like I just said, it's the most important thing. Like number one. Now the, the 49ers, football field itself. The 49ers were given the option. I, again, I'm not making this up. I swear to you, this sounds like it should be in the onion. The 49ers were given the option of moving to a different place, but they didn't want to disrupt everything that they have planned, so they just decided to make the best of it, and they're, quote-unquote, dealing with the soft practice field. <laughs> God help us if one of their players gets hurt. I mean, oh. if, if we lose McCaffrey or Kittle, or what, I don't even want to put that into the universe. What I'm saying is this is impossible to believe. How could this happen? How?